to look at some nanoscale coatings on some tiles. We could use stone, but it's uh, easier to use tiles, and we advise our partners to use tiles. It's consistent, and uh, we can always compare results. So here we have three tiles. They're coated with different coatings. This top coating here is our penetrative coating. You'll see there's a slight difference in colour. This coating goes deep within the, the stone. Uh, we'll show you in a minute by uh, cutting through the stone. But this goes deep within the stone and that provides fantastic hydrophobicity. Uh, its stain resistance is fairly limited. Our next coating is our universal coating for stone. So what happens when we apply water to these? You see it glides over the treated area and then goes into the stone. And so with these coatings, if I put water on here, I would expect that to uh, remain there until it, evaporation takes place. Maybe a tiniest amount of water will move into the substrate. This is a breathable coating after all. This coating here, the penetrative coating, as I say, goes very, very deep. It goes throughout the tile here. It still beads and it does not want to enter into the coating because the whole area is protected deep within the stone. The topographical coatings, the coatings that we put onto here, are within the top millimetre of the stone. If I cut deep within the stone, I will not get performance because I will remove the coating. I can abrade this, I can rub this, this surface 10,000 times with an abrasive cleaner, it won't damage the surface. But if I go in one or two millimetres, then I will remove the coating because it's in the top layer of the stone. And so we can see that water doesn't move into the stone, but can we do, do the same with coffee? Of course we can. We can put coffee, we can put red wine, olive oil, all of those sorts of substances can go on top of the coating. Um, I would expect red wine to be completely removable without any staining if you put it on for an hour. If it's there for 10 hours, you would have to work quite hard with a cleaning agent to get it out completely. But if you remove it within one or two hours, you get no staining whatsoever. So we, we recognise that we can put coffee on top, of course we can, and there's no staining of course when we take it off. But how do we apply the coatings? Well we know this area down here has not been coated, and it's as simple as this. This is one of our coatings. Some of them are transparent, uh, they, they vary depending upon, upon which coating we used. But it's a matter, simply, of doing this. Of course, this side has already been coated. This side has now been coated, and in within 10 hours, this will be fully operational. If you wish to dry it with additional heat, you can do, but it's still best to leave it for 10 hours before you put any staining agents, like red wine, etc., on top of it. After that, it's a matter of wiping it clear, and you'll get no stain.